Okay, and we're back. Good morning. Welcome back to another Where's My Tea mini talk session. We're just going to jump right into it. All right, so it says, hey, Nene, I am 24 years old. I just graduated college with a bachelor's degree in social work. I also just got married last month to my high school sweetheart. I have been holding in a big secret from him. I told him I didn't want to have sex until after we got married. I never thought that he would go through with actually marrying me, but he did. And my big secret is I am HIV positive. I'm afraid to tell him because I know he will leave me. But if I just keep not having sex with him, I fear that he will figure out something is wrong. Help me, Nene. I really need your advice. I was looking for my tea and... I ain't even got no tea. Okay, so when I first got this email and I read it, it totally threw me for a loop. And I immediately responded back to this person and let them know I can respond, respond back to you via email instead of putting this as a video because I'm not sure the type of response that you're going to get. However, she insisted that I did a video, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know which road I really want to take when it comes to this situation. I don't want to sound insensitive because I'm not. The fact that you are HIV positive, I did feel bad for you. I do feel bad for you. My heart goes to you. Um, my heart goes to anyone who's infected with um, HIV, anyone who's living with it. My heart goes to that person. And before I get into this, I want you guys to don't miss, don't mix up my advice to you and what I'm saying to you being HIV, somebody's being HIV positive. These are two different things. Like again, like I said, I totally sympathize with people with this. But we're going to talk about this situation. So if my delivery or if I'm telling you something, it's because I'm talking about the situation. This here is what I don't necessarily agree with. This is not a small secret. This is a big secret that could potentially hurt someone else. This secret is something that you do not keep from a person. This is not a small secret. See, you force this man into marriage. And I'm not saying, when I say force, I don't mean you pressured him or anything like that. Meaning, he grew to love you for you not to have sex with a man, for one. And he seen beyond the sex part and respected that you didn't want to have sex after marriage. And you guys have been together for so long. He grew to love you. He grew a greater connection with you than just sex. And for you to keep such a secret from him is out of this world. You ultimately, you have to give somebody that choice whether they're going to decide to deal with someone with HIV or not. Not even HIV. They can decide to deal with someone who has a, a STD or anything. That's up to a person to decide. That is not up for you to decide. And basically, you're deciding it for him because you two got married. You guys took vows and made a lifetime commitment. And now you you put him in a, 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 a unfortunate position because if he's someone who takes marriage as sacred, how does he get out of that? Who are you to make a decision like that for someone? You basically made a decision that he's going to stay with you or he's going to accept you for what you have. And you may say that you, you know, you're supposed to love someone. If, if he really loved me, he stay with me. Ah, uh, no. Nah. It's not that. You're putting someone else's life at risk. You can't just assume because they love you, they'll stay with you through that. No, what happens is you know the amount of love that they have the first time that you tell them. I'm sure if you told him in the beginning and he stuck around and then decided to marry you, that says a big thing. That says a lot about this man's character. Yet you never told him. He loved you for you, thinking that you were honest with him, married you, and now he's ready, you know, to go to that next level sexually with you and you want to lay a bomb on him like that, that's wrong. 
and see love is off the table now it's not about love it's about it's about honesty now and it's about respect you cannot respect me enough to tell me this is what you have yet you lied to me all these years to say that you're waiting after marriage just to trap me in and tell me that you have HIV that's totally unfair no one deserves that no one if you are living with that you have every right to tell the person that you're dealing with every right it is an obligation for you to tell that person this is what you have this is a serious problem you cannot mess up someone's life because your life is messed up and i'm not saying everyone which hiv has a, a messed up life i'm not saying that but i'm saying because your life is highly sensitive now you can't put that on somebody else's life that's totally unfair so for you to hold this secret this big of a secret you're wrong for that you are so wrong and you have to come out and say that and any consequence that you get from behind that i.e him leaving him being angry him never speaking to you again you ask for it i'm putting myself in your shoes because i like to play size fair I'm trying to imagine me dealing with HIV and I know it is not a hard thing to tell anyone. It's even devastating for you to live with it personally. So imagine telling that person because one, you're dealing with acceptance. You want someone to accept you. Then you're dealing with judgment. You don't want no one to judge you. So I'm, I'm, I'm only under, I'm understanding how you would feel coming out to someone, but I'm not making an excuse. Granted, you have to get over that. You owe it to your partner to tell them what's wrong with you. You owe it. See, you're not even facing your truth. You can't even tell the person that you supposedly love and have been with, this is what's going on with you. You can't, you're living a lie yourself. Again, I understand you're dealing with a lot yourself, i.e. acceptance and, you know, judgment and being looked down upon and, you know, having this, this stigma on you that you're just, you know, alien or you have people have to stay away from you because of what you're dealing with. I can totally understand that and I could totally put myself in your shoes and see and feel that way. However, that is no excuse for you not to be able to have told a man or a partner this is not just you know a little fling this is you guys been at this for a long time and you cannot respect him enough to tell him something big like this yet even when he proposed to you something didn't hit to you like wow let me tell this man now you let this man propose to you then you guys get married and now all of a sudden it's like I have to come clean because he wants sex from me. And like you said, you didn't think he was going to marry you. But still, you can't string someone along because you just want to feel accepted. It's not fair. You got to get over that. You got to live in your truth and live that this is what I am. This is what I have. This is what I'm battling with. I accept it. I made my mistakes. I, this is what I decided to do. I did it. I done it. It's done. I can't undo it. I've accepted it. Now, whoever decides to be with me must accept it themselves or they must go. And see, you didn't go through that phase. Because you still haven't accepted the fact of what you're living with. So instead, you try to live a normal life. You, you drag somebody else along with you. And now you put this weight on him. And then imagine what he has to deal with. Questioning himself on if he should stay. How bad he could possibly hurt your feelings. Am I going to look like a fucking, excuse me, a douche because I left this person who's HIV positive Am I insensitive? Am I making the wrong move? I married this person and now I don't want to be with them. Am I really in love? He has to battle that with himself because you forced him to because you couldn't be respectful enough to tell this man what you're dealing with. So how do you? There's no how. There's do it. There's, there's a do it. You have to just do it. You have to. It's mandatory. And whatever decision he decides, you have to respect it. You can't be mad at him. You can't bash him and say he doesn't love you. Because you assumed just because he loves you and he married you that he will ultimately accept it and see that's where you're wrong. Because he doesn't have to. He does not have to accept it. And it doesn't make that, that person insensitive at all. 
they just know what they're going to do and what they're not going to tolerate with it's personal choice and maybe he all he's always had in his head personal choice that he just wouldn't and it's not saying that we are insensitive it's just based off a of personal choice and you made that choice for him ultimately and that's so unfair of you so yes you need to say something to him. It's not no how. It's not what do I do. You basically sit him down and tell him, look, I'm so sorry. This is what I have and this is why we haven't had sex. And whatever decision he makes from there, loving you or not, a moral decision, personal choice decision that he makes from there is ultimately his decision. All right, guys, so that was my advice to this young lady. Um, I want to hear from everybody. I'm listening to everyone on this topic. Do you think she was wrong for not telling? Can you put yourself in her shoes? Would he ultimately be wrong for divorcing this woman? Tell me your thoughts. Please keep this respectful. This topic is highly sensitive. Please, on your approach, would you say this person, your delivery, Please keep it respectful. I cannot stress that enough. I try to stress it in all my videos. Keep it respectful. Don't forget, guys, if you need advice, you can hit my email. If you need advice, you can check the bottom, the top and the bottom of the description box. You'll find my email there. And that's it. I'm out.